Hello and welcome back everyone to Let's Play Lunar. We need to get ourselves a ship. Hispaniola. Heh, <laughs> funny. A sea chart. And now the sea chart is lost. Can you guess what's gonna happen? Really, no? Yeah, if Luna knows about it and not you, then there's something wrong. Because she's never left the village. Well, time to do our good deed for the day and get back the sea chart. And the person we need to talk to is this guy over here. Brett the Gambler. Well, that's nice of you. Uh, come on. Don't tell me I had to talk to the captain again. Come on, really? Ugh. There we go. Yes, I know where he is, game. You don't need to tell me. Now we can gamble for the sea chart. Alright, let's do it. Heads. It's tails. How about tails? Dead blame it. And Ramus is getting pissed off, like I'm sure everyone would at this point. Let's beat him up! Uh, why? I don't like what you're insinuating. How could you possibly see that? And how would you be able to tell? Yeah, I agree with no, this is not a good idea. Though he is right about that. Oh, come on, any rogue gambler wouldn't say that. You are a moron. And now, we solve it with violence. Hey, I don't have a problem with that. How? Uh, no it doesn't. I have a two-headed coin, they sound the same. They're making stuff up. That's nothing to gloat about. Wuss. Yeah, you did! <laughs> Bastion sold ever right there. Fortune Cane. Okay, the Fortune Cane... Where is it? No, has it. It's actually a pretty strong weapon. And it increases luck, but it's a short-range weapon. And you know how I feel about those, so no. However, I will be keeping that on hand. Our next destination is yet some more woods to the north of the village. But not the weird woods. Trust me, I was a bit confused about that as well. These are the woods that he's actually talking about. Yeah, imagine how annoying it was for me, going back to the weird woods, getting lost forever, only to find out that I was in the wrong area. I was not a happy ga camper, trust me. Oh great, this music doesn't sound good. You might see this chest over here. 
What happens? Monster summon. Yeah, these chests are rigged. However, some uh, some do have items, so I'm gonna dodge all the monsters here as much as I can, anyway. Crap, because they're not very nice. Nope. Uh, I guess I can show off this skill. Oh, well, though, these aren't too bad, so they're fine. Power up. 15 attack, 12 defense. Oh, wow, go Ramus. I was trying to avoid. I really want to kill this small fly, though. Can I reach you? You look like you're gonna hurt. Yes, okay. Ow. Put some of them to sleep, please. Oh! Nice! I'm all for that. Ah, oh, sleep is so nice. They should die this turn. They give a lot of EXP and silver, but... Huh. I don't like fighting them. No! Ugh. Dad, blame it. Ow! Yeah, that's what I was trying to avoid. But for some reason, he didn't get out there in time. Oh, really? There we go. That was close. Okay, that's good. They went after Alex. He can take the punishment. And I really hope that they attack him again. Or not. They can just die. Hey, I, I have no problem with that, trust me. <laughs> oh man. This At this current time, these enemies are annoying. What I was trying to do is get up here. Now we're in the safe area. Looks like someone's trying to trap animals for food. What was that? It's like something got stuck. It's a person? What? Um, just lift up the lid. It's not that heavy. I mean, really, that looks like a, just a straw lid that used to be supported by a stick. 
It's not like it's an anvil. You should be able to just lift it up. The situations were completely different, Luna. But whatever. We're, we're goody goody, so we have to do it. This is Nash. I don't really like him all that much. You know, no one ever says thanks if you ask for it, no. What's the Magic Guild? That's not saying much. Oh, well, that's a little different, I guess. Uh-huh. <laughs> True enough. And Luno plays all friendly with us. Oh, wonderful. Now he's crushing on her. Uh, sure. Yeah, Noel and Nash are getting along great. Yeah, we've heard of her. And now opens his big mouth again. Like I said before, she's well renowned across the entire planet of her singing capabilities. So she's already gotten quite a status. Me too. But I won't say he's not useful. His thunder magic is very powerful which I will be demonstrating very shortly. You also might notice he has a cane called a water cane. If you use it during battle, it will use water magic. Also, he comes with one of the many bromides in this game. Special pictures that has in-game art. If you, and if you select it, it will show it off to you. Remember that character, because we'll see her much later. However, we need to get that sea shard. Getting it, however, is going to be a bit of a problem. Great. Um, that and we don't want you to kill us. And we're not giving up Nal either. Yeah, you won't see much of the water cane. Well, we're off to a good start. I doubt it. But I'm going to let Remus do it anyway. You were caught in it. You asked for our help. I'm 
She shouldn't have had to reduce herself to that. <laughs> Nell's enjoying this. Well, it worked regardless. So, we're gonna get the sea chart in exchange for the very awesome water cane. And the reason she wanted the water cane? Eh, I, I can't doubt, I can't fault her logic there because that is true. These woods are pretty dangerous, as we've seen already. However, without the water cane, he's weaponless. But, we got ourselves this, that he can equip. However, he won't be using attacks very often. I also notice that your party members never follow you when you're in dungeons. I don't know why that is. Now, what's great about Nash is he's fast, and he has some awesome stuff. And as soon as I can get his turn out, he also hits a certain range. Check this out. Goodbye. Uh, I have to spend a turn walking up to him, but that's okay. However, we have run out of time, so next time, we will be going back to the town, after I give a few levels anyway, and see if we can um, get on the ship to Moribia, excuse me, had to think for a second there. See you then.